Salinas Ventura with uh, an F54 championship record, 10.02, moves up to seventh place. Continental record as well in his Sansa of Portugal in the men's discus F12. It's medium visual impairment. He's the third man to throw. Hold back details of who's gone before him because we may have a chance to see that shortly. Sansa so uh, throwing it out, not quite reaching the first line. Which looks to me to be around 30 meters looking across the stadium. 35 minutes 13, Sansa goes into second place. Yuri Butskov of Belarus next to go. Good throw, that is beyond 35 meters. I think that should put him up into the medals anyway. He's the uh, fourth to go. Interesting thing in London 2012, Christian Powers won the Olympic. Hammer title for Hungary. He was doing his press conference. The next press conference up was Usain Bolt. And then Pyre said, Well, I've never seen this many people at a Hammer press conference before. Then went forth with Bukov's second personal best about how you know, the Hammer gets excluded a lot. It gets cut out of live TV broadcasts quite a bit. It's, uh, it's not a main feature event during the heart of the program in the Diamond League. I mean, you do have a lot of individual categories, field events, particularly an occasional track event, steeplechase, which are clamoring for attention, and obviously in the IPC circuit, because you have so many events, even more so. Yeah, even more so, because we have to run, you know, five, six, seven, eight, 100 meter finals, because there's a different final for each class, so that means there's more medals being handed out across the board, and a sheer number of athletes hanging around as well. It creates logistical problems, not only on the track, but off the track, with ramps and the like having to be put in to ensure athletes can get around the villages and, and the cities and the training areas. So I think athletes should be just a little bit more understanding of what the organisers are trying to achieve. There's a lot of work that goes into it and I can appreciate that a lot more being behind the scenes this week rather than being out on the track as an athlete. I've been hanging around with the organising team and the media team and learning about what they do during the championships up, up late. Some nights we were up till three o'clock in the morning just organising things for the next day. So it's, yeah, it's interesting for me this week to see what happens on the other side and I think I have a much more appreciation for it. Rodas of Argentina, the latest to throw, Dimitrovic of Serbia, 33-69, moved him up into fourth place. puts it out to 35-18 and that puts him into third place for now. Kim Lopez Gonzalez, the European champion from Swansea last year through 48-75 and if he does that again here, well he's going in front. He's got that out a good distance. Beyond 40 metres, it'll put him up into the medal, certainly, at least. Lopez Gonzalez, who claimed the world title last time out. Fucking Andrushevo down into second place. 41-55, and Kim Lopez Gonzalez goes into second place. Back to the men's discus, F12. Hector Cabrera, Lasser. 38.01 is lifetime best set this year. 
how close will he get? Top three. Led by the pole. Tetsuki. And Cabrera in fourth place, 36-53. For Australia, here comes Russell Short. The comedian of the team has a very dry sense of humor and loves making the funny comments. Russell actually was the first Paralympic athlete to receive a scholarship at the Australian Institute of Sport and he received it as an able-bodied athlete because his performances in the shot put at the time were some of the best in the country. And Russell Short doesn't come up short. 38-49. Abdullah al Haraz of Kuwait. His first round throw, and that is going to come up short. Al Haraz with a lifetime best set this year of 33 meters. He will struggle, I feel, to make it into the top eight for the three final throws. Twenty-five eighty-seven. Al Haraz lies in tenth place. Saman Pakbaz of Iran is next to throw in this first round. 46-87 is lifetime best set this year, and if he matches that, he's got to go into the lead. It's a long throw. It's beyond 35 meters, certainly. That's where the first line is. Superb lunge out by the 20-year-old. 36-62 going into fifth place. Roman Danilyuk of Ukraine is next. Lifetime best for him of 38-24. They haven't had the same games here as they did in Lyon, where they were eminently successful. One of the victims, perhaps, of the regular Chinese success here. He doesn't seem happy with it, but he should be. That's got out a good distance. That's him in the middle, certainly, for now. A little look of anguish from him. That's gone certainly well beyond 40 meters. It's 43-33 and is a lifetime best for him by five meters. That is sensational. And the look at his face when he let it go was not a happy one. Andrushenko of Russia is next. Silver of the last uh, World Championships behind Kim Lopez Gonzalez, our reigning champion. Out of the quadrants, and that's a no throw. Ah! So not the greatest of stars for Vladimir Andriyashenko. Doesn't look too bothered there, does he? We'll go away and work on that one. He's been in this position before and triumphed.
Petteri Peitzer of Finland. The last attempt, or the first attempt in the first round. 33-65, his season best. 40.45, his lifetime best. Thirty-five, sixty-two for the man with the beard from Finland. He's in eighth position. For years. Here's Russell Shorts. 38-49 in the first round of the men's discus F12. This round two. And Shorts. I think it's hit that bit longer. It's not quite 40 metres, well, a band's pretty much right on the line. So it'll be taking us a few centimetres short, perhaps. 39 metres, 79, and Russell Short is in fourth place. A metre and a half away from bronze. Abdullah Al Haraz of Kuwait lying in 13th place, 25 87 in the first round. 33 meters lifetime best, which would be good enough for 12th. He at the moment is in 13th. Twenty-six eighty-eight for Al Haraz on his second attempt. Iran Saman Pakbaz. Thirty-six eighty-two with his first. What can he do with his second? Next up will be Jenny Iran. He's in with a real shallow level here, the best of the level well, that seven. Looks a lot bigger. Of and Indeed. Silver in the shop put for Saman Pakbaz. 46.87 is his lifetime best set this year. So we know he can throw further, and he has 43.77, takes him into second position. His discus throw F12 still continues. This is the second attempt of Roman Danieluk of Ukraine. 43.33 is opener. And that one's out there around the same mark as well. The next line you can see where the discus lands is the 45 metre mark. 43.77, new lifetime best. The Ukrainian Danielik is in second position behind Marek Vitegi. Vladimir Andreyshenko. His second attempt. First was a foul. That's not. The medals and flowers will be presented by. He's a silver medalist from 2013. Bronze in the Europeans last year. He also won silver way back in 2011 as well. So he has form in major championships. And that's much better. He's up to four, 41.65 for Andre Shenko. Ski gold in the 800 metres in 2011. He's a track man as well. Bronze in the 1500 metres last year in the Europeans. And also a regular thrower. That's a good effort. All 14 men get uh, one more go, and then the top eight will come back for rounds four, five, and six. 
has never meddled in a throwing event. But he's in the lead, 44.76 is best, and that was 43 meters 50. الترتيب المؤقت حتى الآن بالنسبة للمرحلة الأولى من الرمي في القرص F12 بالنسبة للرجال. This is Milenko Vucic of Croatia. Mainly a shot putter, but he finished fifth in the discus in the last World Championships. Mainly does better in the shot put though, he was fourth in the Europeans last year, he was fifth in the shot put here this week. And he stepped out, so that'll be a big X. Against his name. Ball short of 35. Actually he might have delayed his step out, I think they're still measuring this. 29.04 in the second round. I think this will count, actually. It'll be around 31 meters. 31.44 was the distance called. This is Eduardo Sansa now. Portugal, sixth in the shot put of the Europeans last year and seventh in the discus. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the women's shot put F12. That's a red flag. I make it. We're 209 down. Now, Saad Pazbak as we return to the men's discus F12. He did not rock. Pazbak. Championship debut, silver in the shot put, successful in the IBSA World Games in Seoul. Earlier this year. So bars in the bronze medal position. Plakpaz did not rock the Kazba for Ukraine now. This is Daniel Yuk. Not bad, it's around 43 meters, but I don't think it'll improve his position. The real drama is in the shot put, the F55. The man is in second ah! place, Milos Zaric, but he is struggling. Looks like a tricep injury or even elbow. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, it almost hyperextends when he ex when he extends his arm. He hyperextends his arm. That is a painful, painful injury. Six point five zero. I'd be surprised. In second place, if he can do any better than that, he looks like he's in awful pain. I don't know whether he'll continue. A spot of bother, isn't he? Well, he's got a lifetime best. Roshenko of Russia. A no throw in the opening round. 2004. When he first won silver in this discus. Silver in the shot puts in Beijing 2008 and London 2012. Never a major championship title. Bit of a job to get into the medals at the moment. 41.65 in the second round. 41.89 in the third, and now 42 meters 19 in this round four. Andrushenko is in fourth place, but still a meter and a half down. Saman Pakbaz lying in third place. 43.77. Silver in the shot put. It's his championship debut. Oh, he likes this. He likes this. And with every good reason. You can hear the howls of celebration the moment he left his hand. And Saman Pakbaz let fly the 
He threw in the second round, there was a no throw in round three, it was well out, but this well in and it's well long. He's in the gold medal position. Puck bars, 46 meters 20. He had every right to love it. Let's join Cabrera Lasser of Spain in the men's discus. Heading towards the end of the competition now. Beyond the 35 meter mark. Gold in the javelin last year in the Europeans and Swansea, fifth in the discus. Thirty-six eighty-three in this second last round. Lifetime best in round four of thirty-eight seventy-two. Almost three quarters of a meter. Yuri Bukov for Belarus. His fifth round throw. Forty-eight lifetime best is fifth attempt. He's actually ranked eighth at the moment. But that might just have improved his lifetime best. I think it has. The Russian Federation. It's a major effort. A lot put into that. 39 meters, 90, a new lifetime best, and he goes into sixth place. Russell Short has been winning medals for Australia since the 1988 Paralympics in Seoul. Goals in the discus and the javelin there when the categories were different. It wasn't shown on television. That's how long ago it was. years old when he had double glory in South Korea. All the championships since Barcelona 92 have been on TV since then. 39-86, Russell Short is in seventh place. Keeps coming back for more. Kim Lopez Gonzalez, the European and world champion. Down in fifth at the moment, 41.55. Needs to improve by two meters to get into the medals, and he might have done better than that. Hats up around 45 meters. Lopez Gonzalez, well in contention for a medal now. And it might be a major one. A big, big throw. He's up into the silver medal position after three no throws in a row. 44-93. Vladimir Andriyashenko of Russia. Gold in the shot put in 2011. The rest of his major championship medals, silver and bronze. Never won a discus gold. Is he in the mood to change this here? His uh, throws have improved all the time. A no throw in the opening round, 41-65, 41-89, 42-19. looked further. 43-57, fifth place. Yet not enough. Saman Pakbaz of Iran. Our leader, that brilliant throw of 46 meters 20 in the fourth round. If they have a gold or silver sticker on them, you could have won a prize. Gold prize is two nights in Asdan Hotel, and a silver prize is lunch or dinner at the Asdan Hotel. So if you can check your envelopes and they have a gold or sticker, silver sticker on them, then please come back immediately ask because we Leading have your by gold. a meter. 23 over Kim Lopez Gonzalez. Another heavy throw beyond 40, but not beyond 45. Pakpa's lifetime best, 46 87. He's just shy of that with that brilliant fourth round throw. So 46 20.
43-35. Hakpas remains our leader. Roman Danilo of Ukraine. What a first major championship for him, having claimed the gold medal in the shot put ahead of Park Pazu won the silver needs to improve by just about a meter that won't do it it is out with two fouls in a row. Manek Vitecki, 44-76 is best so far. He's in third place, this is second last throw. Again, it's gone a good distance, it's up towards 45 meters. Is that enough? 45 meters exactly would mean second place. Forty-three, eighty-five. Wojtetski remains in third place. On the track, men's four by four hundred meters relay, T fifty-three and fifty-four. So one round to go. Pakpas leads for Iran, 46 meters 20. Kim Lopez Gonzalez in the silver medal position for Spain, 44-93. Kavatecki with the bronze for Poland, 44-76. Daniluk and Androshenko still in the hunt. So we return to the closing stages of the men's discus, F12. Hector Cabrera Lacer for Spain knows the major improvement that's needed in order to get into the medals, and it hasn't happened for him. He'll step out of the throwing circle. It's his third foul of the six, and 38-72 will see him finish in eighth place. Fifth in the discus in the Europeans last year. Right, sixth European here, with an Australian and an Iranian ahead of him. Yuri Bulkov of uh, Belarus next to throw. 39.90, lifetime best in the fifth round. It's been that mark a few times today. Started the day 40, uh, 34.10 was his lifetime best. And he's had four throws go past that, and the other one has been a no throw. And this looks even better. Oh, that's out towards 40 meters. He's having the performance of his life, Yuri Bushkov. Selling all the way out. Thirty-nine, ninety-seven. It's another lifetime best, and it's sixth place. So let's go back to the men's discus throw F12. Russell Short, who's anything but with his sixth attempt. Seventh position at the moment, 39.86 is best. Well, that's longer. That was the 40 metre line you saw there. I believe this is Russell's 100th World Championship or international competition he's competing in. He's been around the team for a very long time. Good senior player. 40.01, that's his best on his final attempt. He's in sixth position, but he's outside the medals. And then 44.93. Kim Lopez Gonzalez. Silver medal position. He's 1m33. Uh, Currently in silver medal position. He's in second. That 44.93 was his fifth. He had three fouls in a row before that. 
Well, he's walked straight up the front of the circle there. He doesn't like that one either. That's a foul. So four of his throws have been fouls, but he'll finish with his silver medal. And he takes one, doesn't it? There it is. His fifth throw, 44-93. He is second with a silver medal. So let's go back to the men's discus throw, F12. Russell Short, who's anything but with his sixth attempt. Seventh position at the moment, 39-86, his best. Oh, that's longer. That was the 40 metre line you saw there. I believe this is Russell's 100th World Championship or international competition he's competing in. He's been around the team for a very long time. Good senior player. 40.01, that's his best on his final attempt. He's in sixth position, but he's outside the medals. And then 44.93. Kim Lopez Gonzalez. He's silver medal position. He's 1m33. Currently in silver medal position. He's in second. That 44.93 was his fifth. He had three fouls in a row before that. Well, he's walked straight up the front of the circle there. He doesn't like that one either. That's a foul. So four of his throws have been fouls, but he'll finish with his silver medal. And he takes one, doesn't it? That's all he needs. There it is. His fifth throw, 44-93. He is second with a silver medal. This the last event of the championships. So, man, Hakbaz, he's in first position. This is his final attempt. For the man from Iran. He's in the gold medal position. 44-61, he finishes with gold. Unless this man and the others still to go could do anything about it. 43-61. Forty-three-seventy-seven. his sixth and final attempt. It's a lifetime best. Can he beat it? Well, he's got, it away, he's got some work to do. He'll need another three metres up. or so. So, Roman, that doesn't look he as does. though it's and gone far enough. So, Vitetsky is the only man who can change the situation now of Poland. He's in bronze. 43 62. Doesn't improve his mark. He finishes in fifth position, the Ukrainian. Airways. I know where to go. Marek Vitecki. Of Poland. Third position. 44-76. He's got to get up to 46.20 or more. The season best came in his very first attempt. So that stayed within the quadrant. But that isn't going to be up near Pakbaz's mark of 46.20. With 44.76, he will stay in bronze. So the winner is Salman Pakbaz of Iran, 46.20. Kim Lopez Gonzalez of Spain, 44.93 takes the silver. Marek Patetsky of Poland takes the bronze with 44.76. Patetsky has bronze. He's on the podium. But it's Pakbaz who takes gold for Iran. There he is. 
46.20 for Saman Fakbaz on his fourth attempt in the discus throw F12 final. Confirmation, Pakbaz in first. Lopez Gonzalez of Spain take the silver. And Vitezki of Poland in third place.